Okay, so let's talk about Uber and Lyft in Rochester. I can give you my extensive experience, which is based on one week. I started last Monday. I started with Uber last Monday and then with Lyft the following day and running both apps um, thereafter. From Monday to Sunday, I worked 22 hours a combination of a couple mornings, the commuters um, and such, and then a couple nights here and there, the airport, just trying to figure out different ways to do this, and then obviously the, the weekend, which was uh, fantastic. Overall, 22 hours, and so far, I think that was $520. If you do the math, I think that works out to about $23 and change an hour. Obviously, you have to deduct your gas and your the wear and tear you're taking on your car and everything. But every little expense you make, um, that's going to be tax deductible. So every receipt that I'm picking up for every even every meal, um, all the gas I'm spending and all the mileage being tracked, it's all going to come back to you. So um, basically, I would say, first of all, 90% of the people that I'm picking up they all think that this is some sort of full-time job. They're always shocked when they find out, no, I, I have a day job, I have a pretty good salary job with Rochester Regional and, um, you know, something that uh, has me on a trajectory to, you know, try to move up within that system. So this is just something I pick up extra shifts on my own. I've had a couple people think, well, where does Uber send you out to? You know, they're thinking it's a company that almost like a cab company, I guess, maybe that has me, you know, working different hours, and I just try to explain, it's 100% on my own. Um, I've met a couple other people who, yeah, I, I've heard of a guy who's done it here and there, and, um, you know, he's made a few bucks, nothing nothing really to brag about, and um, I don't know, can't speak for those situations, but all I can say is, you know, if you've got just any type of drive to really horrible pun, drive around town, um, and, and you're not afraid of any uh, situation as far as distance or uh, certain neighborhoods or anything like that. You're, you're just out there doing the work. Um, one thing I've found is that sometimes you, you get these little three, five dollar rides, um, and you know, you could get frustrated and think, well, that was kind of worthless, but you're just really nice to the people, you know, you give them a bottle of water, you chat. Um, it's been more than once I've had like three dollar rides with five dollar tips you know so there you go eight bucks for like a uh, a five minute thing and then there's um, and then other times those five dollar rides will then put you in position to pick up a guy who's working um, on Winton Road by University and lives in Honeyoy Falls <laughs> so you, you pick up a, a long ride there and then on the way back you pick up someone from Pittsburgh who's going back to Park Avenue so um, saying all this to say, um, I have a bunch of things I'm learning along the way um, as far as practical as well, so I, I do think I'll start sharing some videos with that, but for now um, just a one week checkup, this is fantastic I'm just pulling into work, I'm in my, my parking garage right now, I start in five minutes and um, even today, spent less than two hours picked up about five commuters, made about 35 bucks before the clock even starts for me on my day job so and I'll be back out tonight for a couple more hours so um, if you're thinking about doing this um, I'm sure that I'll be loading links below uh, for both link and uber and if you do them I really need to get better at understanding what the incentives are I just know there's there's bonuses if you sign up through me then you'll get um, an incentive um, one way or another I will too and um, let's do this and also I really 100% mean this. If you don't want to do it, I'm not a network marketer. There's nothing in it for me outside of the extra bonus I can get, I guess, if you do it, but um, you don't pay anything to join. So do, uh, of all the people that are watching this, I don't want you all to do this because then there's going to be more competition out there. So, you know, the couple that really kind of understand the lights turning on, do it. Let's do this. The rest, no pressure. Please stay home. Don't make that money. 
or go, you know, go work a part-time job where you're stuck on that clock and, um, you know, sweating it out in that kitchen or whatever you're doing and um, leave the driving around making $23 an hour to us. So uh, hopefully you're not overly offended at my sarcasm, but I'm being 100% uh, honest with that. All right. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.